हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस इज माय सेकंड वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पैरामीटर्स ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इन माय फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव सॉल्व्ड थ्री वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन पैरामीटर्स ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर यू जस्ट सी दोस क्वेश्चंस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर थ्री न्यू क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन पैरामीटर्स ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर Before I start with solution, what I want is you just try those questions by your own first. So this is first question, this is second question. Freeze the video in between. This is third question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I am going to solve first question of this video. See in first question what is given. If the operational amplifier in figure has input offset voltage of five millivolt, so we have been given with input offset voltage. And an open loop voltage gain of ten thousand. So open loop voltage gain that is also given. Then V naught will be means output voltage is how much. So if you carefully observe this circuit, here both of these input are ground. So if you have been given with ideal open, then V naught should be zero. But this is not ideal open. See with ideal open, this differential gain that should be infinite. an input offset voltage that should be zero so that's why you can say this is not ideal open so for practical open how to have output see for practical open one should know output that is input offset voltage into differential gain here input offset voltage that is 5 milli and differential gain that is 10000 so you can say my Output that is fifty, right? That is fifty volt over here. So output should be fifty voltage. But if you observe, see here VCC and minus VEE that is having a range of plus fifteen to minus fifty. So your output cannot exceeds beyond fifty. Your output is having a limit. It can go maximum up to fifteen voltage only, right? So here you can say here you can say output can go max by plus vcc right that is equals to 15 volt so your output will be plus 15 volt it cannot go up to 50 voltage right so that is how basics are there so you should be clear about fundamentals let us solve second question now this second question is also quite interesting and it is also based on interesting fundamentals let me read the question first see question is assuming that the opem in the circuit shown below is ideal so we have ideal opem the output v not is how much so we need to find output v not so first of all you need to see this circuit carefully see here we have a feedback and at this terminal we have a ground you see this is ground over here right and then we have one another resistance so what it means here we have shorted this resistance and this terminal is ground so what is the meaning of terminal is ground see as if terminal is ground as if terminal is ground then here voltage is zero and over here voltage is one voltage right so for ideal opem for ideal opem what is output for ideal opem output that is differential gain into v plus minus v minus right and for ideal opem this differential gain that should be infinite and v plus over here that is 1 v minus over here that is 0 so you can say output should be infinite but if you observe see we have we have vcc that is 12 and vee that is minus 12 so output cannot go beyond output cannot go beyond vcc right so your output over here that will be vcc instead of infinite and that is 12 voltage over here right so output is 12 volt i hope you have understood this let us move on to third question now this third question is based on common mode rejection ratio cmrr let me read the question first 
सी क्वेश्चन इज गिवन दैट सी एम आर आर दैट इज हंड्रेड डी बी सो सी एम आर आर दैट इज गिवन दैट इज हंड्रेड डी बी इनपुट कॉमन मोड वोल्टेज इज ट्वेल्व सो कॉमन मोड इनपुट वोल्टेज दैट इज ट्वेल्व द डिफरेंशियल वोल्टेज गेन दैट इज फोर थाउजेंड सो डिफरेंशियल वोल्टेज गेन दैट इज ऑल्सो गिवन कैलकुलेट आउटपुट कॉमन मोड वोल्टेज सो आउटपुट कॉमन मोड वोल्टेज दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड हियर सी कॉमन मोड रिजेक्शन रेशियो सी एम आर आर दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सी एम आर आर दैट इज डिफरेंशियल गेन डिवाइड बाई कॉमन मोड गेन सो हियर सी एम आर आर दैट इज देर विद अस एंड हियर डिफरेंशियल गेन दैट इज ऑल्सो देर विद अस सो फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन हैव कॉमन मोड गेन राइट सो यू कैन से कॉमन मोड गेन दैट इज डिफरेंशियल गेन डिवाइड बाई सी एम आर आर नाउ यू सी सी एम आर आर दैट इज गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ हंड्रेड डी बी वी नीड टू हैव दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैल्यू ओवर हियर सो यू शुड नो हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इट सी सी एम आर आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डी बी दैट इज गिवन टू अस दैट इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी लॉग ऑफ वी नीड टू हैव दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैल्यू सी एम आर आर राइट सो वी हैव हंड्रेड that is equals to 20 log in terms of value cmrr that we need to have so 100 by 20 that is 5 log of cmrr so you will be having anti log of this that is cmrr is equals to 10 to the power 5 right so now we can have common mode gain over here let us substitute the values so differential gain that is 4000 divided by cmrr that is 10 to the power 5 so you can say this will be 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 right so common mode gain that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 now common mode gain that is there with us and we have common mode input voltage so we can have common mode output voltage see common mode gain that is common mode output divided by common mode input right so now we can have common mode output from this common mode output that is acm into vcm so what is common mode gain that we have calculated that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 and what is common mode input that is 12 So twelve into four that is forty eight. Forty eight into ten to the power minus two that is zero point four eight volt, right? So you can say your answer that is option B over here. So that is how simply we can solve this type of question. I hope you are getting all the basics. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.